Hello everyone, and in this video, I have a really nice puzzle for you guys. It is right to move and win. It is a checkmate in 16 moves. If you want to solve it, you can pause the video. Alright, the first move is King takes E1. We have to take the knight, because if you don't and play something like H4, black can bring the knight out, get a queen, bring the rook and bishop into the game, and it's made in a couple of moves. Therefore, we have to take the knight. And if you realize, black only has one legal move, which is queen to a1. Basically, black can only move the queen back and forth for the rest of the puzzle because all the other pieces can't move. Anyway, after queen to a1, we cannot move our king anywhere because then black gets a queen brings all his pieces out and will easily win the game. So, we only can move our pawn either to h3 or h4. However, which is the right move, h3 or h4? You can pause the video if you want to find out. So, the right move is surprisingly h3. Although we lose a tempo, it is the only winning move. I will explain later why h4 doesn't win, but for now, let's go on. So h3, queen to a2 is forced, we will continue to push the pawn, so h4, queen to a1, h5, queen to a2, h6, queen to a1, h7, queen to a2, and instead of getting a queen, we promote into a knight, because our plan is to smother checkmate the king. Then black plays queen to a1. Since our plan is to smother checkmate the king, we have to first find out which square do we deliver the checkmate. We have four options, a2, b3, d3, and e2. Checkmating on a2 is impossible because the only way to get there is via b4 or c3 and both of those squares are defended by three pieces, so there's no way. Going to d3 is also not possible because that square is defended by two pieces. Going to e2 is also impossible because that square is defended by three pieces. But how about b3? The rook on b3 is only defended by a pawn. That pawn is undefended as well. Even though we can take that pawn, whenever we move our knight away from that square, the pawn on c5 can push forward and defend the rook again. So, we have to take the pawn on c4 and c5 first, before checkmating on b3. However, there is a problem. Do we take the pawn on c4 first, or do we take the pawn on c5 first? If you want to figure it out, you can pause the video. Okay, the correct answer is that we have to take the pawn on c5 first. I'll explain later why taking on c4 will not work. We will go knight to f7, queen to a2, knight to d8, queen to a1, knight to e6, queen to a2, and knight takes c5. Now we will hunt the c4 pawn. So queen to a1, knight to e4, queen to a2, knight to d6, queen to a1, knight takes c4, queen to a2, knight to a5, queen to a1, and knight takes b3 is a checkmate. Let's go all the way back. So, after king takes e1, queen to a1, I'm going to show you why h4 doesn't work, even after doing the exact same thing. So h4, queen to a2, h5, queen to a1, h6, queen to a2, h7, queen to a1, h8 equals knight, queen to a2, knight to f7, queen to a1, knight to d8, queen to a2, Knight to e6, queen to a1, knight takes c5, queen to a2, knight to e4, queen to a1, knight to d6, queen to a2, knight takes c4, queen to a1, knight to a5, queen to a2, and now we cannot deliver the checkmate on b3 because the queen is now defending the rook. So that's why we have to waste a move by playing h3. Since we now know why h4 doesn't work, let's go back. After we promote our pawn into a knight and black plays queen to a1, 
we know that we have to take the pawn on c5 first before taking on c4. Now we will look at why we cannot take the c4 pawn first. So knight to g6, queen to a2, knight to e5, queen to a1, knight takes c4, queen to a2, knight to a5. c4 has to be played, otherwise it's checkmate. Knight takes c4, queen to a1, knight to a5, queen to a2, and again, we cannot deliver the checkmate on b3 because the queen is guarding that square. Hope you guys enjoyed that puzzle. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. If not, please subscribe for more of such puzzles and see you next time.